Okay, hopefully we're all starting on the same page and agree that the Earth is round. This isn't just a decoration. We need to model the curved shape of the Earth first if we're going to try and figure out and describe where we are on the Earth. And the easiest way to do that is using a graticule. The graticule is what latitude and longitude are, um, latitude and longitude define the graticule, I should say. Um, and the values of latitude and longitude are angles. So from the quote-unquote center of the Earth out to the surface, using the origin for latitude, that's the equator, and then the prime meridian, or Greenwich line, um, is the zero origin for longitude. We can be 60 degrees east of our prime meridian, and that's this angle right here. Or we could be 40 degrees north of the equator, but that's described by this angle. So 40 degrees north on the surface and 60 degrees east on the surface is going to put us relative to the origin at the equator and the prime meridian up here. So all data, all spatial data, has to start with this kind of description because the Earth is round. And this is how we describe it. Angles from the center of the Earth away from this origin of the equator and the Greenwich line. All right, so moving into arc map and spatial data, what if I were to ask you whether a data set is in a projected or geographic coordinate system? What am I talking about? A geographic coordinate system is the graticule. It's latitude and longitude. That's what the geographic is standing for. The units of a geographic coordinate system are always in degrees because we're talking about those angles. So if I look at this random data set, and bring this in. First of all, you can see this extent. These are the values that are embedded in the data, and they define the extent, north, south, east, west, of this data set. You can see the units are degrees. You can see the numbers are all less than 180, the absolute values. And so what we're talking about are the latitude and longitude away from the origin of the equator and the Greenwich line, the prime meridian. Um, 154 degrees west because it's negative. So this is defining pretty much a global data set. It's big. Um, our range of values go from 18 to 28 degrees, so maybe it's not completely. Actually, this is all west. Oh, so this isn't a global data set. This is all somewhere um, west of the prime meridian. It's only about, if we sub subtracted these two, we could figure out how many degrees wide it is on the surface. And it's all in the Northern Hemisphere. Huh. Well, it turns out it's a data set from Hawaii. And that's what this gray blob is down here. Um, so the important thing to that is looking to see that the extent is in degrees and there's small numbers. So if I look down here, it's telling me that there's a geographic coordinate system. It's the North American Datum of 1983. Great. Um, what if we were dealing with a data set that's in a projected coordinate system? For example, this state's U.S. data set that just magically appeared. So this guy, if I were to ask you what the coordinate system is of the state's U.S., I could go into the properties and take a look at that extent first. First of all, I hope you noticed how big these numbers just got. This is a decimal place. So we're talking about 1,407,609 somethings. This can't be in degrees. Are we agreed there? Um, the numbers, again, are embedded. The units are not. The units are associated with the coordinate system. But these values demonstrate that this data set has to be in a projected coordinate system. The units are meters, um, and that coordinates well with this because now we're talking about being meters away from, from an origin. Um, all projected coordinate systems have different origins. A lot of them are the equator for latitude, but the longitude origins change. Um, so if we, if we look down here, you can see that there is a projected coordinate system, USA, contiguous, Lambert, conformal, conic. The exact projection is Lambert, conformal, conic. The USA contiguous has to do with the spatial extent that the projection is covering. So remember that all projections have a geographic extent that they're focusing on to try and reduce uh, distortion, and also some kind of math that's preserving one of the metrics that can get distorted. So area, angle, distance, um, shape, things like that. 
Um, here we see that the linear unit is meter. So we've gone from an angular unit, right, of the graticule or latitude and longitude to a Cartesian, planar, linear unit. Um, in this case, it's meters. The other option is feet. But it's also listing a geographic coordinate system. How confusing. Can it be both? No. Why do they list this? Because all data, all spatial data, starts with a curved model. And this is telling us that it was originally founded on the North American datum of 1983 because the Earth is curved, the data starts that way, the original units were degrees, but they're not anymore. Now the units are meters because a projection, which is just math, has been applied to calculate a different set of coordinate values um, that transform it from latitude and longitude, angular values, onto a flat surface where we're using linear units. So this math changed. If this data did come in, in latitude and longitude, these values would be those small values that we saw associated with the other data set. Um, values less than 180, units of degrees, but just mathematical calculation moved those values from one plane, one one reference plane to another one, from a curved one to a flat one. And it just changes the values, and in doing so, we get a new set of units. So you can always tell if data is in a geographic or projected coordinate system by looking at the size of these values. The only time this would be confusing is if you had a tiny little data set that was plotting up right at the equator, uh, really, really close to itself, and just happened to have <laughs> um, coordinate values you know, that were sitting right at the equator in meters. That would be weird. Uh, atypical, I should say. So this is how you can tell. This is a projected coordinate system, big numbers, units of meters or feet, um, a geographic coordinate system. Come on, cooperation here. Geographic coordinate system is going to have very small values because we're talking about angles. They can't be bigger than 180 in absolute value. And they're going to have units of degrees here. I hope that makes sense. Thanks.